guys, it's your girl T. So I wanted to come on here and talk about this really disturbing situation. And it's coming from our second favorite state, trifling ass Texas. So what's going on now in Texas, you ask? What's going on is that once again, we have another trifling ass mother and another dead child on our hands. So basically what's going on is that we have a 19 month old child. Her name is Jazira Thompson. So what happened to Jazira is that she was left at home alone with three other children all under the age of five. So there was a five year old there and there was two three year olds there as well. So they were left there while the mother Raquel Thompson decided to go with her boyfriend to Walgreens and to go grab a pizza. So while they're gone, these kids are left at home. The two Two three-year-olds decide to put the 19-month-old baby in the oven. So they stuff her in the oven. One of the kids shuts the oven door. The other one turns on the oven. And they literally cook Jazira to death. When I tell you this is one of the most disturbing stories I've heard in a while, this is just some sick-ass shit. I want you guys to go ahead and check out both these news clips, and I'm going to come back with the rest of my commentary. Story out of Northeast Houston. A 19-month-old girl there dead after being found with severe burns. Now we want to warn you here, the details of this story are really upsetting. Police were called to an apartment complex at Sterling Shire just after midnight last night. And that's where we find Eyewitness News reporter Maya Shea this evening. Maya? Yeah, just beyond the children's playground equipment right behind me is a family in mourning. A 19-month-old little girl dead, and police say she was left home alone with her siblings. None of the children older than five years old. Little Jazera Thompson, just 19 months old, was already dead when Houston police showed up at the apartment. She shared with her three siblings, mom and her mom's boyfriend. The children's grandmother, who spoke to us off camera, said they were left home alone by the couple last night. She said the toddler was found burned in the oven is very heartbreaking. Neighbor Serenity Humphreys had four kids of her own and can't imagine leaving them home alone. I couldn't and it's something that I absolutely would not do. I just I just wouldn't. I wouldn't. They're already at the age where they get into a lot of stuff anyways. But another woman who also identified herself as the children's grandmother defended the parents. Uh, like I can tell you, they're good people and they, they keep them kids together, so I don't know what happened today. I don't have no idea. The grandparents who do live in the complex say they did not know why the couple didn't tell anyone the kids were home alone. Other neighbors say it's not the first time they've seen the kids without adult supervision. She leaves her kids at home by themselves all the time. If she goes to work. Child Protective Services and Houston police investigators visited the apartment this afternoon, but so far have not charged anyone with a crime. Neighbors say they've made up their minds. That's not responsible. That's not responsible at all. So in this tragic accident, was there a crime committed? That is what police investigators are trying to figure out right now. Last we know, they were talking with the mother and her boyfriend, but as of right now, no charges have been filed. We're live in Northeast Houston. A father is upset after he says his ex-girlfriend was irresponsible with his children. Investigators say his kids were left alone in the apartment when their younger sister was burned to death. It is an interview you'll only see here on Eyewitness News. And good evening, friends. I'm Dave Ward. And I'm Gina Gaston. Eyewitness News reporter Maya Shea is live with more from the man who's now trying to get custody of his children. Maya? Yeah, that father heartbroken tonight over what happened in an apartment that he did not even know about. All of this coming out in details we obtained through court documents and investigations by the Child Protective Services. And that father told us exclusively he wants his kids back. Frederick Price came to this apartment complex looking for his two kids, both just three years old. He had no idea they were among the children left home alone in Unit 115, where a 19-month-old died. I need to know where they are. I, I, haven't, I haven't heard from my children in um, some months. Uh, I, I've been um, trying to contact Raquel. Price is the ex-boyfriend of Raquel Thompson. Police believe she left her four kids, all under five years old, home alone Monday night. That's when little Jaisera, seen on Thompson's Facebook page, ended up in the oven, burned to death. She died without ever knowing a father. She was you know, a cute little baby. Um, just didn't know if that was my daughter or not. 
Court records obtained by Eyewitness News show Thompson told officials she often left the kids home alone to drive her boyfriend to work. Monday night, Thompson and her boyfriend left to go get Domino's and stopped at Walgreens, all without telling nearby grandparents. It's very irresponsible. Someone should have been here or, you know, I should have gotten a phone call to come and get my children. Court records also show Price's two kids, just three years old, told investigators that one of them put the baby in the oven and the other turned it on. Records also show Thompson tried the CPR when she got home, but it was too late. With three other children now in foster care, Price just wants to find his children, and soon. I have to go and get them. It's, it's, it's no, I have to go and get them. We don't know yet if Price will be able to have access to his children. We should also note that those court records show that Thompson told investigators she never had a driver's license but would often drive her children and they would not be in car seats. Meanwhile, there have been no charges filed either against the mother nor the boyfriend, but CPS officials write in those court documents that they are expecting criminal charges soon. We are live at CPS. All right, so you guys just saw the news clip and you guys just saw the father. And like like I said, a lot of things bother me with this story. Now, I always find it funny that after a tragedy happens, here comes the father supposedly looking for their children. They always claimed they had no idea where their kids were at. They didn't know what happened to the kids. They had no way to get a hold of them. But now, here he is showing up at the house. Now, a lot of y'all may not realize this, but this bitch, Raquel Thompson, is pregnant again. Now, this is a shit that I cannot stand. First of all, this chick cannot take care of the one child that she had. She had a five-year-old. So she was struggling to take care of that child. Then you decide to have another child. She has two children who are both three years old. Neither one of these kids are twins. So she had both of these kids back to back. They're what you call Irish twins. They're when you're supposed to wait six weeks for your stitches to heal up. But instead of waiting the six weeks, you just jump back in the sack and then you get pregnant again. So that's kind of what happened to her. So she has two children that are three years old. So... Instead of saying, you know what, I have my hands full, I'm only 24 years old, you know, I mean, I already have three children, she ends up having another baby who's 19 months old, and she has no idea who that father is. The father that came for the three-year-old does not know if he's the father of this 19-month-old baby. Now, to make matters worse, this bitch is pregnant again with her fifth child by the boyfriend. You know, it just makes no sense what's so damn ever. First of all, who the hell has to go to go pick up a pizza? Domino's delivers. She had no business leaving her kids at home by themselves to go pick up a pizza and go to Walgreens. And my thing is this, how long does it take to go get some damn ibuprofen, whatever the hell she needs to get from Walgreens, and to go grab a pizza? It shouldn't have took that long. The neighbors have already busted her out and said this is her MO. She's always leaving the kids by themselves. And the crazy part is that she has relatives in that same complex. The mother lives in the complex. She has uncles and aunties. She could have very well took those kids upstairs to her mother's house for them to watch her kids. You know, just shows you how irresponsible that this woman is. This woman definitely needs to be locked up. And these little three-year-olds, to me, I don't know what they've seen in that household but for them to put a child in an oven that's some psychopathic shit you know that that to me those three-year-olds and I don't like talking about little babies and people can say well their children they don't know better something's not right when a three-year-old can think to put a one-year-old in an oven and then turn on the oven and then the fact that I'm sure that baby was screaming and crying and none of them decided to open the oven and try and pull her out. They said that that baby cooked in the oven until the mother came home and smelled something burning and she realized that the daughter was in the oven being cooked. It's like, how crazy is this household? What has these children seen? Because children just don't think of things like that on their own. I wonder if the mother had been threatening these three-year-olds by saying, I'm going to put y'all in the oven. And then they initially did the same to their siblings. Because I just don't understand for the like of me how three-year-olds come up with this type of plan. How they think to put their sibling in the oven. And not only put the sibling in the oven and shut the door, but to turn the oven on as well. This is just some crazy-ass, sick-ass shit that went down in that apartment. And I feel like the mother and the boyfriend should be prosecuted to the fullest extent of the law i blame them for leaving those children at the house you know what i'm saying i blame her for not having enough wherewithal to take her kids upstairs to her mother's house you know this is just really really sad if you cannot handle having one child you have no business having multiple children let alone being knocked up again for the fifth time 
Anyways, let's go ahead and get the discussion popping. Go ahead and leave a comment. Let me know your thoughts on this entire situation. How did you feel about this story? And do you feel like the mother and the boyfriend should be prosecuted for what the three-year-olds did? Or do you feel like, you know what, it was an accident, the three-year-olds did it, and the parents should not be prosecuted? And then how do you also feel about the father now coming to try and get custody of these three-year-olds when clearly this mother has been an unfit mother for a long time? I really feel like he should have came to get custody of them way before this situation went down. So anyways, let's go ahead and get the discussion popping. Go ahead and leave a comment. All right, deuces. Hey, you guys, it's your girl T. Make sure to subscribe, like, and share my videos. You can also visit lovelytea.com to purchase any merchandise. Also, don't forget to click the boxes down below to watch any of my previous videos. Talk to y'all later. Deuces.